crazy. <laughs> Damn. Fuck, look at my shoes. These people had me delivering on this farm, little farm. It wasn't even a big farm. It was tiny on this gloomy, rainy, nasty day. And of course, I'm walking through the mud out here. Bro, to get into this place was crazy. It was so tight to try to turn in here. It was horrible, bro. It really got me. I'm in shock. I'm in shock. I got to back down into this dock right here. They got me on a farm, bro. I don't, I don't even want to open my doors because of all the mud that's right there. It's... Oh my God, my shoes are Just got to Stewart, Florida. They got me on a farm. It's miserable, it's raining, wet. I should be home sleeping. Um, I didn't even realize, I didn't even realize there was farms out here, like, like this, this close to where I live. This is crazy. Bro, every day is a holiday and every meal is a feast. I was just aggravated about the rain, the mud, the traffic, everything like that today. I tried to stay positive, but boy, was it pushing my limit. <laughs> All right, so I just got back in my truck. I booked a load for $400, which isn't nothing, but it's a short run, and it pays $4.15 a mile. So I can't complain about that, and it's in the same city I live. So I'm going to pick it up down there in Miami which is gonna be like, from Papano Beach to Miami, it's probably gonna be like a 30, 30 mile deadhead. From Miami to where I live is only like 90 miles. It's gonna pay $4.15 a mile. It's, it's not bad at all. So uh, I had to go ahead and book it because usually I take with uh, power only from Miami to Jacksonville, I was taking that for 450 bucks. So I'm only, I'm only going 90 miles and taking, you know, making 450 bucks. They just got done with strap, stop one, came in the trailer, put my strap back on, and stop two, pumping old, pumping in and old. Bro, this is one of the smallest parking lots I've ever had to come in. I had to come in this way, make this turn right here, and then back straight up where I'm at. And now I gotta jump up there with a pallet jack and help them unload it real quick. Knock it out. Yeah, right. Little did I know, it's about to be hell. I'm supposed to be at that other place by noon. It's 11 o'clock, so if we can hurry up and get this out the next 20 minutes, I should make it there on time. Keep sending me these crazy little spots. And people with sleepers, I don't know how they would have gotten here. That's crazy. Bro, I'm still in disbelief on how hard this was. That pallet jack that he gave me, I mean, that thing came from 1980. 82 maybe i mean that thing was old as i don't know what it needed tires needed to be oiled it was terrible anyway so i keep getting him up there to help me pull with straps of the bottom of the pallet because some somebody loaded it uh sideways they pushed almost every pallet in there sideways this unload took like an hour and 20 minutes bro me and this guy was struggling trying to pull these pallets out definitely get my workout for today Buddy, he loaded me. He loaded it all in there sideways so you can't get the pallet jack underneath it. I broke the pallet trying to get underneath it. And now it's all leaning. Getting ready to fall. So he went to go get another pallet and we're just gonna take this stack and try moving it onto the other pallet. But uh, I got four left. There Let's was go. four stacks sitting there individually and four pallets left. And I had no clue those stacks were standing there individually. And we had to move all of them to the back. Bro, I'm so sick of this rain today. I'm again another sick of this shit. day. Dad, wants guys got to me standing here waiting. Rain, to get rain. Inside to give him my load number. And it's raining out here. Unbelievable. Bro, I was so hot, they had me standing out there in the rain. But they only let one driver at a time stand in that room because of COVID. So today has been all around nasty. Like just nasty out. The weather sucks. But anyway, I just got done getting loaded here in uh, 
Miami Lakes. I just got fully loaded with Nestle water. Oh, Pure Life. Pure Life, I guess Nestle owns that. But anyway, I just got loaded with this uh, water. 44,000 pounds, going to Sam's Club. I actually work today, so I can't even go home and hang my shirt back up. I worked a little too hard today. I just got back to the yard, and of course, now that I got back to the yard, the weather is perfect out. I'll catch you on the next vlog. I'm out. He is going at least 22 miles an hour on the skateboard. Like 20 now. He's about to make this left turn. Hurry up. Okay, my boy, he's sliding something decent. <laughs>